the republic of azerbaijan notes on the state borders in the past and the present Suleiman ali Arlu. the province of azerbaijan at the term of the middle ages it used in contemporary sources media hegazvini skandar bekmunshi etc and reference to the whole of azerbaijan although the province has been very variable in its geographical connotations over time the whole is generally held as consisting of the Narsan republic of azerbaijan and the Sarsan iranian azerbaijan this land lies between between the main Caucasus range and the mountain chain Kurdak, from which the little Zab river, a tributary of the Tigris, takes its waters. He runs this thirty sixes parallel. This is the southernmost boundary of the land of Azerbaijan. According to Al Yagubi, an Arab author of the ninth century, Iran, the land of Nasr Azerbaijan by the confluence of the Arax and Kura, represents Upper Azerbaijan, Azerbaijan al Uya, stretching as far as Berda and Derbent. An important note of precision of is made by Ibn Hogel, who lived in the tenth century. On the map of Azerbaijan that he drew, the western coast of the Khazari Caspian Sea to the city of Derbent belonged to this country. According to the information of Al Tabari, 80, 838, 923, and Ibn Al Tahir, 1160, uh, on the map of Azerbaijan that he drew, the western coast of the Khazar Sea to the city of Derbent belonged to this country. According to the information of Al Tabari, 838, 923, and Ibn al Tahir, eleven sixty and twelve thirty three, Maslab ibn Ab Abd al Malik, leader of the Caliphate, moving in March against the Turks, reached Al Baba and the district of Azerbaijan. Al Kufi, seven hundred thirty one, seven hundred ninety eight. One of the early Arab authors includes in the country of Azerbaijan the towns by Lakan and Sheki, along with Berda. Gudama ibn Jaffa, writing at the end of the 9th century, even mentions Berda at the capital of Azerbaijan. Ibn al Fayyan Yagut, who also takes the northern border of the country as far as Berda, named Zenjan as its southern frontier and Erzinjan as its southwestern. Azerbaijan it's the contention of this author that during the course of the next millennium the geographical coordinate of Azerbaijan, about which Arab scholarship reports in the 8th to 10th centuries, underwent a relatively minor change. In the 16th century, the Azerbaijani land, existing at the metropolitan of the Safavid Empire, formed three Baglar Bekets. Azerbaijan proper, the center of which was the city of Tabriz, the first capital of the state. Karabakh was at centering Ganja and Shirwan. This administrative state structure, which existed for 200 years, exercised a significant influence on the subsequent political history of the country. On this basis, there developed in the 1740s the Azerbaijani feudal state structures known as Khnats of Sheki, Karabakh, Kubin, Urmin, Nakhchivan. The territory of the Karabakh Khnat, for example, created to the extent of the former Beglar Beki, uh, with the exception of the town of Ganja. Among the state activities of the 18th century, he most parallel clearly perceived the national interests of Azerbaijan was Fatali Khan, governor of the Cuban Khanate. He came out determinedly against the idea of forceful splitting of the western lands of the country together with the town of Ganja to the advantage of Georgia. Azerbaijan was recognized as an established entity even by the leaders of a country that maintained activity, active foreign policy intention towards it. Thus, the Russian representative in Kakhati, Burnasif, wrote that the land of Azerbaijan, the north bordered Georgia, and the east, the Caspian Sea, and the province of Gilan, and the south, Iron, and in the west, Turkey. Along with the cities of Tabriz, Marega, Urmia, Hoy, Ardabil, and Meskin, are the areas of Baku, Shamakhi, Sheki, Ganja, Shusha, and Nakhchivan also belong to Azerbaijan. During the course of 16 Henry years, the lowland and Athlan confluence of the Kurenda Rakh, including Kareba and Nakhchivan provinces, were a company part of the state structures upon the territory of Azerbaijan. Some sources have traced the establishment of this all-exclusive structure of Azerbaijan 
Ivan till the late 15th century. The writings of an Armenian historiographer certainly recall that this period was significant for Transcaucasia in a territorial sense. In 387, Armenia was split into two unical parts. The western district went over to Rome, whereas all the other part more than three quarters of the territory of Armenia to Ireland. Moreover, in the western part of Armenia there was no king appointed, and it was incorporated into the provincial system of the Roman Empire. Up until the 9th century, taking into account the two Henry II rule of the Caliphate between the 7th and 9th centuries, the land referred to ancient Iran could not have been under the domination of Armenia either de jure or de facto. This question was received exhaustive treatment in historical works based on contemporary sources, Greek, Caucasian, Albanian, Arab, and Armenian. The quality of the testimony of the great historical and geographical literature of the Arabs needs the commendation. The state apparent of the caliphate for it as a Bajan special strategic importance. This was the man in the bar of all the interested of the Valerie with the Hazar Khanat, the war that lasted intermittently some 150 years. In order to create for itself a strong show before the Khazars, the Caliphate engaged in the migratory politics of colonization and resettled in Azerbaijan the population of entire district of Aravi. One of the main cities of Azerbaijan, Berda, the former capital of Iran, was transformed into the residence of the Caliphate local representative. Therefore, for a long period, Arabs gathered significant information on Berda and its environs, precisely that which later constituted the province of Karabakh. In Arab sources, the question of Karabakh is treated to all intent and purposes quite informally at the province of Iran. The report of al Masudi, writing in the 10th century can be counted as fundamental. He wrote, the mountains of Abu Musa, which belong to Iran, are settled by tribes from the peoples of Iran. The report of the Manion also Ardan is important, where he describes the establishment in Ganja of the rule of the Shaddadid Fazlun. At the end of the 10th century, the author also reports that Fazlunium, incorporated into the composition of Warda by Lakan Hachan, the basic part of Upper Karabakh, the main lowland and upland regions of Karabakh. The same Warda also writes that Fazlun took control of the the town of Duin as well, laying upon a many attacks of 3,000 dinars. The association at the beginning of the 11th century Khajan and Gardman were included in the Bagratid Kingdom of Ani, the Armenian state formation from 885 to 1045, as difficult to reconcile with the evidence. Perhaps one can speak of the war deposit, but no more than this, because Fazlani, maintaining his own money and command of a significant military force, held northern Azerbaijan in his own sphere and scored a victor over the Khazar Khanate. It's difficult to suppose that he would have accepted the loss of his kingdom's metropolis. This is even more the case as other contemporary sources, including the Gassida of the Azerbaijani poet of the 11th century, Getran of Tabriz, report Ran in Sunni being under the power of the Shaddadis even after Fazl. Moreover, the kingdom of Anu was ruled by Buzan tomb in 1045, whereas the Shaddadids ruled Iran right up to 1080. When Gendu came under the power of the Seljuk Imperial Malik Shah. According to the sources, Karabakh remained in the administrative political structure of Gendu even during the next century. The author Mikhti Hargosh, 11th century, 2012th century, in mentioning Khachan, writes of its capital Gendu. Enormous text written in the beginning of the 13th century in Persian, the author states this district is difficult of access in mountains and forests. It belongs to the region round. The same applied in the case of the districts in 
Chilja Byurt, governed by the Gendry Emir of the state of Atabax of Azerbaijan since the district of Jalpart was in the region of Berda. In collective historical works between the 14th and 16th centuries, such as Nurad al Gulub, Zayl Tariq e Gazide, Takmilat al Harbar, the upper part of historical Karabakh is generally referred to in no way other than as Karabakh of Iran. To such a state of affairs in sense is fixed also by Arakal Davritsi, the Armenian author of the 17th century, according to whom Karabakh is the land of the Caucasian Albanians. Then the Vardapet set out for the land of Albanians to Karabakh. Presley through the strength of the traditional state rule formed of centuries, Karabakh became the system of the Safavid Empire 1501-1736, one of the three Azerbaijan Belarbahids, the administrative center of which was the town of Genja. The state administrative identification of Karabakh is an historical retrospective corresponds to the following sema. Sri Henry 87, 905, Iran Gardman, principality capital Berda. 7th to 9th century rule of the Caliphate. End of 9th century beginning of 10th century Iran Gardman, principality. 6.9 Henry 85, 10, 18, 80, Iran state of the Shadadis capital Ganja, 10, 18, 18, 20, 12, 25, part of the state of the Seljuks and Atabak, Eldanid and administrative governance of Ganja, beginning of 13th century to end of 14th century, rule of the Mongols, 14, 10th, 15, Henry part of the state of the Gora al Gayunlui in the administrative governance of Ganja, 15, 1, 17th century, 6th part of the Safavid state administrative unit for the Karabakh Belalberi, Administrative Center Genja. 1747-1822, the independent Karabakhanat capital Shusha. During the course of the 14th century, deals in the Shema with the exception of the existence of the previously mentioned kingdom of Ani, Armenia was not represented on the map of Transcaucasia in terms of its own statehood, which removed the basis for any further attempt to interpret the facts differently. Furthermore, Arabic historical and geographical which in particular fixes the fact of statehood in Azerbaijan. Yagut al Hamavi, having weathered to several towns in Azerbaijan in 1213 and 1220, wrote this as a huge land and great state. Such a conclusion had in view not merely an evaluation of the frontiers of the state of the Azerbaijan at Abaks, who, by the way, minted money also in the capital of Iran, Genja. According to the observation of another medieval encyclopedalist, Hamdullah Ghazvini, at the time of the Atabaks of Azerbaijan and of the Khans of Shirwan, this was one of the richer countries of Asia Minor along with Iraq and Iran. In particular, budget revenues recorded by these authors flowing into state treasury revealed the significance of Azerbaijan as a state. As to the question about who was the creator of this who reached in Azerbaijan, Hamdullah Khazvini provides precise ethnic confirmation with reference to the large towns. The people of Tabriz began their own Turkic dialect in Maragat. The people here are white faced Turks, who are famous as the Turkic area. The 18th to 19th centuries held special place in the history of Karabakh. In connection with the annulment of the Karabakh Beglerbegi, the town of Genju and its environs were split, gaining some independent status. But the Karabakh Khanad formed in the wake of this was also now based on the land of ancient Iran. This is a natural triangle formed by the lower course of the rivers Iraq and Kura. Here is what the historian of the Karabakh Anat, Mirzi Jamal Jawanshur Karabakh wrote at the start of the 19th century. As is described in the old historical books, the border of the Karabakh Vilayet are the following. And as far as uh, the river Iraq, from the Kudafarim Bridge as far as the Sinakh Kirpu, which is today found on the territory of the Magala, Kazakh, Shumsedin and Demir Hassanli, Bure Elk Trees of the Russian state call it the Red Bridge and the East uh, the river Kura, which joins with the river Arach by the village of Jawad and later flows into Caspian Sea. In the north, uh, the river Kura 
terraces at the front of Carabandils of Itpal as far as the river current the Kura. Stretching along the front extends to the river Arach, and the west the high mountains of Karabang named Kushper, Sadwart and Durikli, the Karabang village part of the country of Aram. The Karabakhanat by the connection of Armenian Osiris was not a semi independent Persian Hanat nor its leader a direct appointee of the Persian court. Right from the start of the existence of the Hanat is Karabakh the inevitability of a long struggle with Iron for perceived which had no desire to reconcile it with the last of the formers of John Bernard Bahit. This also explains the bitterness that was occasioned by the question of building the capital for the Hanat. When the State Council of the Hanat was stated, we must surely perish unless we construct a more secure forays against them, and thus is not for preferably to find another castle in an acceptable place for our domains, so that in case of need, we might also receive help from one of the Hanats that are our neighbors. The threat from Iron brought about the union of all the patriotic forces in the land of Karabakh to and Emanion, everything was dependent on this. Within the composition of the Hanat, a single coalition formed, incorporating even the Emanion Maliks, the Vardan Shanazar, to whose daughter Ibrahim Khan was married, the Hajkin Mirza Khan, and also the chiefs of the Eremon Khan monastery, elevated by the ruler of Karabakh to the Albanian Catholic throne. However, the Armenian Maliks of Dilak, Gulistan, and Chilibyurt were in opposition to the Hanat and sowed the seeds of civil conflict. As regards the position of Maliks, they represented in themselves forces which wished to consolidate the feudal dismemberment of Karabakh. At the conditions of the second half of the 18th century, this was extremely dangerous. The wider forces could easily be dominated by more powerful neighbors, Iron and Turkey. The regime of the Maliks was also negatively evaluated by General Ermalov, Russian supreme commander in the Caucasus. During the second decade of the 18th century, the self-styled warriors went over to the side of the Gajar, the sworn enemy of the freedom of the peoples of Transcaucasia. But against the enemy, a coalition of patriotic forces arose, which was led by Ibrahim Khan, Lieutenant General Kismenshev of the Russian Sowers and of Armenian origin road. The patron of Karabakh didn't limit himself to the defense of the castle Shusha, but took all measures in general to strike a significant blow against his opponent, convinced that his hatred towards the torrent was shared by his subjects. He declared the people's war, thanks to which was also only be expelled the Persians from his domain. This was explained by the fact that the Karabakh and Kubin Hanat, in practice holding under the power, the whole of Nas Azerbaijan found themselves in a position that was incompatible in relations to the Gajars. First, Azerbaijan and Hanat were in an anti-Iran coalition. At first, the leading role was taken by the Kubin Hanat having drawn up a joint defense part packed with Eastern Georgia against aggression from Iran. For Sadid Fatali Khan, the rule of the Kubin Hanat, a long the shadow of Gajar aggression on the southern horizons of Transcaucasia and was preparing Azerbaijan for battle. This is how the union between Fatali Khan and King Rekhla of Kakhati was formed. After the death of Fatali Khan, the sworn union of eastern Georgia was formed with the Kareba Khanat. The allies did what they could do to aid each other. For the military needs, Iraq financial assistance was made available from the Kareba treasure to the tune of 100. 20,000 troubles. The main division of the Persian army consisting of 8,000 Sarbas was annihilated off at Askaran by the joint Georgian and Azerbaijan forces. King Rekla read the following to his appointee on the Caucasian line by the Russians, Aga Muhammad Shah, lies siege to the castle of Shusha for more than a month, but the people there inflicted great loss upon him. For this reason, he was unable to come out and battle against us. Then, there are the famous cavalry march of the Persians of Tbilisi. Together with Theril Azerbaijan and ruling Hans, the position of Union, Maliks, Muslim, and above crossed out to their side. It was these who began to lead Iranian military in the direction of Tbilisi. 
The rate can hardly be any dispute as to which of these forces can be evaluated positively from its historical perspective. Nonetheless, in recent Armenian publications of the Azerbaijan feudal state, Krebachanat is reduced to the status of being a representative and vassal of the Shah, and the opposition vassals of this Khanat are glorified as warriors. The weakness alone on the, of this argument requires that its proponents should resort to a different criterion of evolution, to be exact to look at events through the prism of Russia Caucasian relations. There is occasioned only by the host how his scholars try to prove that Panahan and his successors were the initiators of the unification of Karabakh and Zengazur with Russia. The question must be asked, from whom were they seeking protection? Well, people of the Karabakh and Zengazur under these terms are understood only as Armenians, although the demographic evidence adduced below paints a different picture, this is clear. They were seeking liberation from the Turkish yoke, as for the so-called Hans, whose yoke were were they wishing to reject? Isn't it true that the Hans didn't conceal that there was one enemy with the Russians? And all of a sudden, the Hans voluntarily decided to enter the composition of Russia. Isn't such falsification a little insulting in the first place to the Russian people whose sons in their thousands were sacrificed in unending battles caused by Hans and Pashas? But how on earth could a handful of unarmed newcomers of all of a sudden decide to entry to incorporate Arthur's land into composition of Russia? This quotation expresses the credo of an entire literature. With such manifest exploitations of Russia, theme as a corresponding perhaps to the intellect of a sub-officer in the pre-Slavic times still doesn't bring us anywhere near the truth. It's not a whole packed of documentary resources published over a hundred years earlier by Adolf Berg in the command of the Caucasian Archaeological Commission of the Interrelations of the Karabakhanat with Russia. Many are in the original language with contemporary translation. According to the published collection of the Imperial Russian Historical Society, diplomatic relations with a great point of idea of current weather of the Karabakhanat conducted in St. Petersburg's led in 1783 to the following edict of Catherine. As for Ibrahim Khan, if not difficulty or doubts met in taking him into Russian protection, it seems possibly to adopt for guidance that which was done with a king directly. The edict was not executed by a Potomkin, although good uh, relations with the Empress continued. A year later, she wrote to Potemkin. The letters of Ibrahim Khan are written with much greater politeness than the Turkish or other Persian ones when they have reached me. Please inform me who he is. How did he become Khan? Is it the young or old, strong or weak? And are the Persians inclined towards him? In July 1784, it impressed best towed upon Musa Sultan, the Karabakh ambassador, the owner of being the representative of a sovereign friendly state, commanding that an artillery salute to be, uh, be given, and that he be shown all the fountains and sites of Petrohof, all very secure sites, especially our fleet. For the bilateral treaty regarding the transference of the Khanat, not Karabakh, but especially of the Khanat, into power of Russia, it was signed on 14th May 1805 in Kurecha. Entitled the Sworn Declaration, it was signed by Ibrahim Khan of Shusha and Karabakh and the all Russian military infantry general Pavel Tsyanov, empowered by the purpose by Tsar Alexander. It's pointless to search in the street for the many names of Karabakh or Zengazur. Within the limit of its own state borders, the Karabakh had remained in the composition of Russia as well state, preserving its own internal institutions and establishments, but without the right of external relations. In 1822, the Khanat was abolished. So what system of state administrative dependency was introduced this time? As possible that a realignment of dependence of the Malik of Karabakh had that is of the upper and lower parts of Armenia? The fact is that during the course of war between Iran and Russia during the mid to late 1820s, the latter regained control over even the Iran Khanat. 
disregarding to the absolute majority of the Turkic population, the Khunat was refitioned into an administrative unit with national nomenclature called Menion district and the composition of which was assigned even the Khunat of Nechtua. An edict of Nicholas II of 21st March 1828 declared, by the power of the treaty concluded with Persia, we commanded Erevan Hanat and Nechtuan Hanat next to Russia from Persia. Henceforth, uh, in all deeds be known as an Armenian district, and that is, be included in our title. Thus, when they emphasize goodwill towards the national expectations of Armenians and the armenophilia of Russian authorities received political expressions during imperial edict, the frontiers and territorial integrity of Karabakh were not transgressed, and a place of the Polish Khanat was formed Karabakh province, subordinated to a military district of Islamic province. The capital of the former Khanat, Shusha, became the residence of the head of the district drawn from the number of Russian generals. In governmental circle, there was no question of identifying any part of Karabakh as Armenian. This explains the fact that, in an official publication put together by the imperial ministers of foreign affairs, internal affairs, foreign finance, Karabakh is included in a makeup of the Islamic provinces. The Russian Empire, incorporating into its bosom of the Karabakh Khanat, didn't start to to read out the administrative state complex of the Armenian Khanat of North Azerbaijan. Subsequently, the administrative territorial governance of Karabakh altered according to the following schema. 1824, 22 and 48, the Karabakh province is in the makeup of the region of Islamic provinces. 1841 and 4, the Shusha district in composition of the Caspian territory. 1846, and 67 the Shusha district is in the makeup of the Shamaha. 1867 and 1918 the Shusha district is in the composition of the newly established hills of Itpal Gubernat. 1919 20. The Karabakh General Gubernat, encompassing the Zengazur, Shusha, Dolanshir, and Jabral districts in the makeup of the Azerbaijan Democratic Republic. States of the General Gubernat was recognized by representatives of Intenti, commander of the British Expeditionary Force, to Baku General Thompson, agent of the Council of the 